A three-year-old boy was left to die at a hospital in southern China on Friday. Doctors refused to help the boy because his grandfather was too poor to pay for the treatment. The death rallied about 2,000 people to go to the hospital, and Chinese communist authorities responded by sending in military troops and police to stop the protest. Three-year-old Xiong Hongwei was taken to Number Two People's Hospital in Guang'an City after drinking pesticide. The Hong Kong-based Information Center for Human Rights and Democracy said his grandfather was told to get more money by the hospital. Protesters gathered at the hospital after they heard that the boy had died. In response, the Chinese Communist authorities sent an armed military and police to disperse the protesters. There are many police outside. There are also many police cars, anti-riot police, and anti-bullet vehicles. There were reports that four students were beaten to death by the police on Saturday night. They said that there were two male students and two female students. They felt it was not fair for the boy. They came to help and clashed with the police. We saw the police use electric batons to beat them, and they were beaten to death. A local telephone operator told AP News Agency that demonstrators smashed windows and equipment, forcing the six-story hospital to close. This morning, I saw many armed policemen on the streets. They were using loudspeakers to tell the people not to believe rumors and to trust the government. China is facing a growing crisis. The nation's rural poor have no access to medical care, and all means of appeal is violently stopped by the regime.